So here in the Midwest, early October, late September uh, is kind of the prime time to go out and find spiders and to be able to observe them building their webs, catching prey. Pine trees are a great place to find spiders uh, as the, um, the way that the branches lay out, they create excellent spots for spiders to build their webs. So railing is another great place to find spiders, uh, along fences sometimes as well. So I just found a beautiful orb spider. She is right now working on her web. A perfect opportunity to get nice and close and watch her. Taking out my plus two magnifier, and I'm going to thread it onto the end of my 55 to 210 telephoto lens. And what this is gonna do is it's going to allow us to reduce that minimal focal length, get a little bit closer. Let's check this out. So I went ahead and I changed the frame rate to 120 frames per second just because real time is kind of fast and I want to take advantage of that capability of the A6300. But this is with the plus two filter at full zoom on the 210 millimeter lens. In this shot, we can see just how strategic she is. Notice she takes her abdomen, the end of her abdomen where the silk is coming out, and she dabs it on the other strand there. Watch right there, a little dab, and it glues it into place. It's amazing. Notice how precise she is with her feet, knowing just where to step. Another dab right there, gluing those strands into place. A lot of people who are afraid of spiders and, and want to kill them, it really confuses me as, as to why they'd want to do that, especially after you, you see one working. You, you see all the work that they're putting into that web. I actually found her when she was probably about three quarters of the way through, and I watched her finish it up. But it was a real treat to be able to, uh, to find her and watch her spin this web. So once she decides that enough is enough, she's satisfied with the structure of her web, she heads back to the middle to wait. Just a few touch-ups for the middle there, perhaps. Some more surface for her feet. I wanted to do something nice for her after all that hard work, so I decided to feed her a moth. You'll notice that 
Spiders sit in the center of their web so they can feel the vibration from all 360 degrees. And look at how fast she goes after that moth. It's incredible. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful and informative, and I hope that you are inspired to get out there and uh, look what's right in front of you. There's so much stuff out there. I'm trying to get myself back into this mentality, and making this video actually was an encouragement to me, and uh, hopefully it was to you as well. Thank you guys for watching. Please hit that subscribe button, uh, share, like, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.